Hey everyone, Cam here from Motion VFX. Today I'm gonna show you how to turn your good old regular 2D screen captures into a sleek Apple-like ads using just a few tools in Design Studio. First up, I prepared a couple of screen capture videos of my Final Cut project. As you can see, these are just basic flat captures of me working on my project. So let's try to add a 3D camera effect to one of these shots. Let's open M extension and browse through all the available camera movements. There are tons to pick from, but for this shot, I'm gonna go with custom camera movement. I drop it on top of my shot. Let's shorten the duration of this. Now let's take a look. And we can already see some built-in camera movement. But for now, I'll switch these off because I want to create my own angles and movement. Let's start by adjusting the camera Z value to zoom in closer. Then we tweak the camera X rotation to about 45 degrees to get a cool angle. It's already looking great. Next, I create a keyframe for the camera X and Y position. I do that to make the camera follow the mouse as it moves up the window. And let's see that. Looks like a super dynamic shot. To fine tune the look, I adjust the focus offset and blur amount to control the depth of field, giving the shot a cinematic touch. You can do it however you think is right and improvise. If you want to add a little extra flair, Design Studio has some cool selection tools. Maybe let's add a rectangle selection. Again, I drop the asset on top of my footage, make it shorter. So for this example, let's switch off the 3D camera for now. It's much easier to adjust this in 2D mode. So I position it around a window. Let's change the color to white, maybe. That looks much slicker. And once that looks right, I switch the 3D camera back on. And there you have it, a slick laser-like selection effect around the window. Let's maybe try this on another shot. So let's try something with this shot. Now I also wanna show you guys how you don't always have to set up your camera on some of these. There's a lot of ready-made camera movements ready to go. So let's check out this 3D zoom one. Let's drag it on top. And we can already see the movement it makes by bringing us closer to the timeline at a cool 3D angle. We can adjust the blur of the shot. Maybe let's switch off the prism effect and the wriggle. That looks super cool and it was crazy easy to make. But again, let's add some extra flair. In M extension, let's type in grid. I sort of like this one. I drop it on top of my footage. Again, let's switch off the 3D camera. Let's change the blending mode to lighten. Maybe make the grid thinner and a bit more transparent. Now we switch on the 3D camera. And now we got the grid on top of the timeline, also with a 3D effect. I've made all of that in a few minutes without having to keyframe anything or playing with the camera movements. So if you're not good with that, these presets offer the solution. Lastly, let's take a look at transitions. As you can see, I created compound clips for all of these shots. I've got my 3D camera effects and selection assets in there, but I want to add some cool transitions between them. Let's go into M extension once more. And I think I'm gonna use the M transition whip cut pack. So let's maybe put the zoom transition here and maybe whip pan between these two. And finally, a swoosh transition here. Just adjusting them. This will allow for some cool dynamic transitions between the shots. And let's take a look. After a bunch of experimenting and playing around with a lot of these, adding different selection tools with different camera movements, you can end up with something like this. But I'm sure you guys can come up with something way better. Leave some comments below, follow Motion VFX social media channels, and we can't wait to see what you come up with.